So this is another way to get around when you're on top of your partner. So again, your shoulders still through the middle of the back. Last time we went through to the elbow. Okay, the problem with that sometimes is that they can grab your left elbow. So I come here, his left hand or his right hand can grab my elbow. Okay. <coughs> so another finish is to take your right hand and bring it to the chin. Okay, control the chin and it keeps your elbow pretty high. It's right there, guys. And it keeps my elbow out of reach. Left hand goes to the elbow here. Okay, we would like to get it off the ground, but it's understandable if he's strong and you can't. You have to control it right there. So, I'm on top, oh my god, a lot of weight going into him. What I have to do is I have to get my right leg around his elbow, okay? Because he's going to be reaching for my leg right here. He wants to stop me, so I want to get my leg around. So, I can really control that elbow, and you're going to spin a couple times to your right. So my right shoulder's in on him, I'm going to spin a couple times to the right to get him going the wrong way. And I'm going to use my hand, I'm going to shoot his arm out of the way and step around. So I'm here, I take a couple steps this way, and then I'm going to take a step with my right foot around, and I'm going to drive his elbow that way. So. It looks really quick. The, the reason why we take that step with our right leg first is we don't want him to defend and grab the leg. If I just let go and grab, he still has my leg, I haven't gotten points. So. Make sure you really control this. Take a step with this one first, shoot it through, and come around. Okay, you almost have to jump to get past it. Jumping is fine. Make sure your weight is always on your opponent. I'll do it one more time. Shoulder in, hand on the chin, left hand on the elbow. Really keeping that pressure. A couple steps, and you're around. So that's the, uh, another finish from the on top position to get behind.